verify a given result. So now in the tool consumer, we have a new endpoint here, um, the basic outcome service endpoint. And it's very important to secure it because uh, it's open on the web and we don't want just anybody to basically be able to post grades. So we need to secure this endpoint and make sure that this request we are seeing is actually coming from the tool provider. So we are going to leverage uh, shared secret again and we are also going to leverage OAuth. But there is one issue is that OAuth, the original OAuth was a uh, signature process is meant to sign form based um, request. In our context here we no more form, we have actually an XML payload. So how do we solve that? Well, we are using an extension to the OAuth signature process called um, OAuth Body Ash. So how does it work? Well, OAuth Body Ash is actually a two-step process. The first thing that happens in an OAuth, OAuth Body Ash is actually going to compute a hash of the body. So basically, we run this body through a hashing function, and this hashing function is actually defined in the OAuth header, and we get a value. That value, actually, we are going now to put it into the OAuth authorization header. Uh, actually that's the value here. So this value is actually the hashing of the body. And now this authorization header in itself is signed using the shared secret. And so this is what is sent and then the tool consumer receives the request it actually does a reverse operation. So the first thing it's going to do is verify that this authorization header is actually properly signed. So it's going to use a sign verify the signature with this shared secret and verify that this is um, a valid OAuth request. Now, if this is a valid OAuth request, this, uh, that's fine, but you still need to verify that the body has not been modified uh, in the meantime. That means the header has been reused in another kind of body. So to do that, it's going to compute the hash of the body and verify that the hash of the body is actually matching the one that's that was passed into the signed authorization header. And if it does, then it's, uh, it guarantees that this uh, request has not been modified. So this mechanics here, again, is going to be found um, across all LTI services. So um, one last thing on, on that is that um, yes, with OAuth body hash, you know that the request, the payload is, proper, is coming from the tool provider and therefore can be um, trusted to a certain extent. But additional business logic security must still apply. So for example here we're trying, we have a result that we want to modify then something that a, a tool consumer is probably going to do is going to use the key that was, part in, that was in the request and verify that the uh, result that needs to be modified is actually based for a link that is owned by that tool provider. So that this way one cannot use a, a relationship here between um, a tool provider and tool consumer to actually modify data that is not owned by this relationship. So that's additional security and restrictions that must be applied once the payload has been verified. Again, now using on the key and see what kind of resources are attached to the key.